Melanie Fisher, owner of Jam Gallery in Melbourne, and I'd like to talk a little bit about um, some of the artists in our holiday show, which runs November and December. This is a work uh, by Daisy Cohen. Um, we hung it as a, uh, a diptych of sorts. Um, this one is titled Root, and we also have Starry Lake. Uh, Daisy's work is unique uh, because of her technique. She lives in New York and one of her friends designs uh, billboards for Broadway shows out of plexiglass. He gives her the bits and pieces left over and she uses them as her surface. Her medium is acrylic, so what we're looking at here is acrylic uh, on plexiglass. What Daisy does is almost like a Jackson Pollock approach. She will very spontaneously apply, drip, brush, um, slide uh, the medium around the plexiglass, and let it dry. Sometimes she'll go over it several times. And almost like a Rorsch blot test, she will look at the canvas and certain images come to mind. Um, Daisy will all, often create faces or shapes, flowers, animals, uh, all kinds of creatures that she sees uh, a la Rorsch blot test in her own paintings. Uh, what she saw in these two paintings were more uh, naturalistic uh, concepts, lake and uh, root. Uh, that is following a path all around the painting. And you can see she's reinforced some of these lines. Um, it also has an organic feeling, almost like a capillary or, or vein. Hi. Um, I would like to talk a little bit now about Stephen Schaefer's glass art. I met Stephen about a year ago, and what immediately struck me about his work is that it's not blown. It is, in fact, molded glass. And you can see it's organic because of the shapes and because of the imagery inside, which re remind me of sea plants, uh, sometimes insect and plant forms. And yet it's very sophisticated at the same time. Uh, Stephen is constantly experimenting with different methods of manipulating his molten glass. And he also experiments with infusing air bubbles and also infusing color. Another thing I like about Stephen's work is that it changes according to the light striking the piece and according to uh, how the piece is viewed, from which angle. These are a few reasons why so many people who come into the gallery are very intrigued by Stephen's work. Okay, here we have a fascinating piece by artist Bob Bowers. It is titled Oil Eating Fish. Now, Bob wrote a short science fiction story about this piece. I will uh, tell you the story briefly. Uh, this is a species of fish that lives in the ocean. It lives on oil that is spilled from oil tankers, uh, oil derricks, ruptured oil pipes, and so forth. Uh, this species uh, follows the uh, oil tankers and hangs around the oil derricks just waiting for a spill. And when that occurs, they lap up the oil, it travels through their bodies, and it actually operates this little propeller. It acts as the fuel, and this is how these fish move uh, via this little propeller. So we're very pleased at the whimsical nature of uh, Bob's fish.
going to uh, talk a little bit now about Catherine Noska, a painter who uses the traditional medium of oil on panel. Catherine's brushwork is absolutely incredible. Um, she uses uh, triple zero brushes. Uh, the detail is amazing, as well as her use of color. So these are visually beautiful works, and they're also symbolic. Um, Catherine uh, is very fond of pairing symbols. For example, the deadly to toadstool with uh, water, uh, water of life. And the title of this painting is Qua Vi, Which Way? And of course you have death symbolized and life through water. Um, Catherine also likes to set up a still life construction and then use landscape in back. It adds to the dreamlike quality of her work. Uh, here is another work by Catherine, Voyage by Choice. And I love this work because the depth, it draws you right through the uh, opening of the door. There are uh, elements of ancient architecture, um, uh, ancient mariners, as if the mar mariner is going on a voyage. It's almost like a dreamlike voyage or a voyage into another world. Um, again, we have references to ancient relics. And, and, and again, uh, something that um, Catherine likes to do is set up an almost a still life construction and then um, go deep into the painting with landscape background. Uh, they, they truly are uh, very provocative paintings.